why study GCSE drama? Well, it's a creative and it's a physical activity. Um, it's all about working practically, really. And the theory side is to inform that practical work. So it's very different from your other subjects, which are mostly written and theory based. So in that instance, um, it's, it's an outlet for expressing yourself. Um, drama can transform lives. So whether you plan to pursue it as a career or not, the benefits that this subject's going to have on your confidence, your communication skills and all those transferable skills that you will use later in life is huge. And it's going to prepare you for either work or further studies. It's also a lot of fun. Um, drama gives you an opportunity to express yourself, improve your well-being. And over the two year course, you're going to be looking at lots of different practitioners, theatre styles, which are going to give you a really good knowledge of professional works. And this can prepare you for A level or BTEC performing arts. You're also going to get the fabulous experience of live theatre. So actually going out on trips, watching performances, as well as performing your own work. And of course, that's really enjoyable. How will you be assessed? Well, there's three main components to GCSE drama. Component one, um, this is focused on the written exam. So this is about your understanding of drama. And what we'll do is we'll study a play text. We usually study Blood Brothers or um, War Horse. They might be books that you've already read in English. Um, we analyse and evaluate live theatre production, so we get to go on a theatre trip, which we can critique. And then you prepare for a written exam, which is one hour and 45 minutes. And this makes up 40% of your GCSE. Then you've got component two, which is called devising drama, and this is practical based. So it's about working as a group and creating your own original theatre performance um, through workshops and going on to film your own short piece. Now, this is, um, again, 40% of your GCSE. There is a little bit of writing with this, just a logbook, which is like a journal explaining the process that you've gone through to create your performance piece. And finally, I've got component three, text in practice. Um, this is where you perform, again, practically two play extracts worth 20% of your GCSE. So what skills will you need for this course? Well. GCSE drama is open to all students who are motivated and enthusiastic about the subject. Um, you don't have to have any prior knowledge, but it is really essential that you are committed to performing because you will be expected to participate in practical workshops, group rehearsals and preparation for performances. It's a collaborative subject. This means that you are relying on others as part of a group to be successful. You must have the determination to perform to the highest standards in front of a live audience. So that means you will be getting up and performing in front of people, family, friends, people in school, people in your class. And although 60% of this course is practical, you do have to be motivated and show that enthusiasm for the written elements as well, because of course it is that process that helps you um, develop your understanding of the practical side in GCSE. And this is what makes you fulfill your, your potential really and prepares you for college and further studies. It might be that you're an experienced performer or maybe you've you've never performed at all, but you're really interested in the devising side, writing and directing your own material. The important thing is that you are passionate about theatre. So how does this course link to future courses and careers? Well, drama as a learning subject will teach you specific drama skills and provide you with a whole range of personal learning. Um, but it also helps you to grow as a person, grow in confidence, improve your communication skills, working as a team to develop all those important transferable skills that are going to be useful for you in uh, any walk of life. So whether it's further studies or the world of work, no matter what career you pursue, drama is going to give you the skills and prepare you. So it might be that you want to undertake post-16 drama in performing arts or A-level. You might want to do film studies, theatre design, journalism or media. This course will give you the knowledge as a stepping stone to make the next step onto those courses. 
It's also um, progression opportunities for degree level, higher education, and even entry into drama skills. So the practical side will prepare you for auditions, getting you to understand and learn more about styles of theatre, um, learning different theatre styles, looking at different texts. It might be that you want to pursue a traineeship or employment in the leisure of performing arts industry. So it might be that you don't want to be a performer. It might be that you want to work backstage. You might want to be a theatre manager. You might want to be um, a set designer, okay, front of house. Again, this course looks at all elements of theatre. So that's something you will be studying and again can make a great stepping stone onto um, those trainee apprenticeships and employment opportunities. Or it might be that you don't wish to pursue any career in drama at all. But whatever you choose to do, drama is still going to give you the points and the grades and the transferable skills that you need for those next steps. So whether you are choosing drama as one of your options because you're really good at it or whether you're choosing drama because you really love it um, or whether you're choosing it as a next step doesn't matter. As long as you bring the passion and the enthusiasm for theatre, we look forward to seeing you.